Welcome back to Life and Style Monday edition. That is Inspiration Monday. We are all about enlightening, empowering, and making you the very best version of yourself that you could ever be. And when you see me, that means it's time for the everyday woman. And today it's very interesting because <sighs> I should be on the panel, <laughs> but I'm on the other side. So I have amazing women who are in media or have been in media and today we're just going to talk about the whole experience finding yourself in that space and most people probably think this space is sort of privileged so we will just demystify all of that and feel is it privilege or is it just too much pressure welcome to the show ladies thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Oh, so lovely from you. white to luminous god knows what to peak and <laughs> my queen <laughs> is just fabulous yeah. queen is it. Queen is it. <laughs> we are at the pop-up market have you guys been here before I Western? haven't actually. You, you haven't? No, but it's really, really cool. Yes. Yeah. It, it looks is. like a totally different place oh, from yeah. the actually, world. Actually, entered yeah. and you forget you're in Kenya. Yeah. It yeah. has this Europe kind of yes, feel. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, it does. Karibuni sana mtasema mlikuja hapa kwa ajili yangu na nitachukua fungu la Anyway, anyway, let's introduce ourselves. I'm sure people, your household names and I love that. But still. That is your camera. That's the camera right yeah, there. Right that's there. the one. That's the one. That's it's the so one. It's nice to not have the producer giving me pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be asked, what did yeah, you I say? Was, was yeah, that I a will mention? do that for all <laughs> of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is a no pressure time. No. I said, when you say Muturi, I'm a media personality. Uh, but more than that, I'm a training consultant. So I'm passionate about training and just seeing people transform through spaces of leadership, strategy, culture, and soft skills. Absolutely. And just I'm a mother of two. Yeah, and a wife to one. <laughs> and a wife to a fantastic <laughs> man. Yeah, I have to demystify that one. Yes, make absolutely. It clear. True, yes, true, true. So How many years have you been in the media? I think oh, for wow. everyone, brother, I think it will just cut across. I think on screen, four years. Hmm. Off screen. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm. All right. Great mm. stuff. Nam karibu tena kwenye sehemu ya mahojiano. Swala nzima kuhusiana na sakata mbalimbali za ufisadi. Hakuna chochote ambacho hufanyika. Tume ya kupambana na ufisadi haina meno. Yeah. Ani. Yes. Uh, my name is Ann Gugi and uh, I've been a journalist for almost going to 17 years. Yes, yes, I thank God. So I've been a journalist for that long. I've even worked at KTN, shortly at K24, and right now I'm working with the BBC. And it's great. Feels really great. I just like that. You yes. know, I've worked with KTN. I know. Kid that, that that and then, 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 It's a good turn out of Cairo's Al Ali Arena and the ball is fired into Naja who kisses it off the glass. The finest professional basketball team. It was the best. All over the world. Oh, oh. Ah, that was not bad. It's a basketball in Zuba. Silale. I'm Silale Shani. Uh, I'm different in that now I've worked in the sports side of media. Mm -hmm. uh, I've hosted a basketball TV magazine show in Zuku for two years and then in, on Kwese for three years. So I'm, I'm bringing a bit of a spanner in the mix mm -hmm. here. Yeah, that's good. Um, bringing a bit of experience from the sports side, which is usually a male-dominated field. Um, but it's really been a great time being a part of that industry quick one uh -huh. did you ever play sports how did you get into that I did play sports okay, I've good. played basketball for a really long time wow. I'm actually wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 someone asked me for some model I was like no yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> so Great. I have played basketball for a really long time I was actually captain of the national team for three years oh. here in Kenya oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. so what, what was her name Bilha, what was the name of the lady we interviewed Cynthia Mumbo, very good friend of mine. Ah, and Cynthia the Mumbo CEO of rugby as well was a basketballer. Sylvia, she yes, was Sylvia. actually a coach for one of the national team assignments I went on. So I know them both really, really well. Great. Yeah. I feel so good I about know, you know people. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> 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 and just mm. to, so that's the sport world. Um, what, 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 um, Speciality. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, well, I've been in Swahili. Um, I've been a journalist, but Swahili is 
uh, the language that have, uh, uh, since I began yeah. until today. Although I work for, uh, as a broadcast journalist at BBC, yeah. okay. uh, I report to BBC Swahili. Yeah. I'm a multimedia yeah. journalist, but I report. So if you listen to maybe a program called Dira Yadunia, I don't know if you know about it, yeah, on radio, yeah. I'm there. Monday I, to Friday. You know what? Yeah. I actually, actually, when we were talking, I was like, oh, you speak English. I know you speak English. <laughs> I know that. I know. I know. But we're just wow. in, uh, you're in Oh, really? Like, yeah. like, like Swahili journalists? Yeah. Oh, like Swahili yeah. We get that a lot, Swahili yeah. journalists. Like, yeah. you actually speak English. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, okay, are we supposed to be <laughs> just Swahili? Swahili, Evie? Yeah. So, and, and um, Faith? Mm hmm yours was totally yes mm. my mine was different mine was i think mine was juggling two careers so i've done training consultants for about 13 years mm. but i've known more for tv which i think i, I did on screen four years so i was at ntv i was doing a ghost special on mm. sunday so my monday to friday or saturday was training what is that what is what i know we'll get to the show yeah okay okay <laughs> what is the the training train cons con okay yeah. train consultancy what i do i lead a team uh, called Dev delf training limited and what we do is that we speak to individuals organizations and teams to help them thrive okay. so we're very passionate about culture uh, whatever you do everything is culture how's your organization culture so we come and we do a training we have an amazing process we do an analysis get to know you uh, 360 get to know you get to know your clients or your stakeholders what's working what's not working then we develop programs for training but i think mm. there's a beauty in sharing our uh, good and uh, mm. bad scars as well yeah. and if you look at leaders like obama you know his family he doesn't yeah. hide it yeah. Yeah. and the other presidents we didn't know as much mm. and maybe that's out there mm. but generally uh, the people who the more authentic you are I think there's a way you connect with people, mm, yeah. um, but then are we authentic enough that when the good happens, when the bad happens? I remember before I got married, yeah. I was very public about my stand in terms yeah. of my values, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and that was a bit scary, you know, because I was saying these are my values, and guys are like, huh, when God's at two, because they do the Christian show, when you're going to pregnant, <laughs> two, not two, and that was tough, what if I fall, what yeah. if? But But this is what I believe. And if I fall, I hope I'll rise. Mm. Yeah. And if I if I say this is my value and I believe in this, and mm. I will compromise, what if I fall? Then I hope I'll stand up, dust mm. myself, right after crying and say, yeah. I yeah, still yeah, believe. Yeah. And this is what I want to live. So key. yeah, but yeah. but I think it's a very personal decision. Yeah. It's a personal decision yeah. of yeah. are you comfortable with that and what does it entail? But at times, even if you try to keep it private, mm. at times there's only so much it will be private. Yeah, that, that. I like that you bring that out. Yeah. And this will just go yeah. back to Anne yeah. a bit. Let's look at my eyes. Mm. So, mm -hmm. we were doing a show together yes. called... Um, what is it called? It's Ultimate Challenge. Yes, yes, yes. So we, we, it's a weight loss program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were there working hard. So mm -hmm. her, she wasn't a contestant. No. But she was, we, we had unique... Um, uh, celebrities, celebrities in every yeah. team yeah. so the, the celebrities are competing against themselves mm. and then me as a host I don't know I was competing against this too but I was just there all over <laughs> doing the whole thing yeah. and then producers would yes. compete because mm. every team had a producer yeah. and once in a while because we ended up in the same team yeah. we'd, we'd have time to talk mm. and yeah. at that time um, Anne wasn't in the, so, nope. in the media at yeah. all yeah. Yeah. so even her appearing on the show yeah. was like oh yeah. Anne Bado yeah. you yeah. Yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Anne told me one thing it's like Mikali you know you're in one day, you're yeah, out, yeah. Mm. and people forget. Yes, yes. People forget. And she yeah. told me one thing. <laughs> Do you see the money you're making right yeah. now? Because people assume it's a lot. Yeah. Well, sometimes it is. <laughs> sometimes it is. Yeah. But then she told me, you know this money you're getting? Imagine, think about the future. Yeah. I know just hearing it from yeah. Anna, like, there's so many stereotypes yeah. when we come to our job. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And the one I beat every time, it doesn't help that I'm 31 and mm -hmm. probably not dating, mm -hmm. and I don't have a kid. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, hey, we're not care media. I'm mm -hmm. like... So who said? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's right. I'm yes, happy yes, that yes. Yes. Mm. please. Uh, and then when you say you're in the media, they're like, ah, you know, you know, you know, something that you've said, I didn't, I'm shocked that you remember things that we spoke spoke about like four, four years ago or five years ago. And at that time, I was going through a very rough time because I was sucked. I was actually sucked from a media job. I was, you know, that tells you that unambiwo ifes yako itakikani kwa TV anymore. But uh, at that time, why I wanted to be, I wanted something that will keep me busy. You understand? And uh, that conversation, I now remember it. 
and it's true sometimes you can be on the screen and the next yeah. moment you're not there yeah. and so imagine if it starts getting into your head mm. that I am the angugi you understand and life revolves around me yeah. and then all of a sudden perhaps you get sick you can't be on telly or maybe you're you know you're sacked what will happen yeah. so these are things that I, I can also say now to women in the media and outside that things happen and life in a span of a moment life can really change yeah. you are no longer on TV and maybe the person who you, you are looking down and thinking who you are with Kunishinda she becomes the one who sits on the seat that you are sitting on in the evening but these are things to appreciate yeah. and uh, perhaps to be more real is to say that uh, it's good to be pretty it's good to be a celebrity it's good to have those Instagram likes and whatever that women are doing but it's also good to remember that at the end of the day life moves on Absolutely. the will is moving on yeah. others are being born yeah. <laughs> they are, they are, they'll be more beautiful yeah. and maybe more better than you so yeah. nikujipanga whatever money that you get whatever opportunity because of course as in the media ev every door that you knock will be opened any office government office you want to go in the bank everywhere people respect you but after that people will be like eh ulienda wapi because i got that a lot yeah you understand so you have to be grounded just as she said you have to be very authentic yes. that even when, when things turn around and you can't be able to move in the car vehicle or maybe live in the same estate you are going still to remain you and you're not going to hide and say that because job Elisha you can't walk outside or you mm. can't like I, mm. after I, I lost my job for a while I used to go into a matatu you understand yeah. but I used to hear people Shh. And that is yes. being true to yourself yes. again. And maybe I'll just throw this to uh, Silele. You are a ma'am, right? How do you find the balance between all of that? And it, it sort of like borders to the same thing and also maintaining that this, this fame does not get into my head, that I do not become consumed by the power that people give me by celebrating what it is that I do. Right. I mean, you, you have to ask yourself, where do I put my self-worth? Yeah. You know, is my self-worth uh, my popularity? Um, people recognizing me, me being on TV and, and having a voice of authority? Or is my self-worth being a good person, a good mom? And it's like you're saying, and you have to, it has to go beyond who you are on screen, right? Yeah. You have a position of authority, you have a position um, of influence, and I, usually I talk to um, young basketball players and athletes in general about this. I tell them, use your position as a platform. You're not going to play basketball forever, you're not going to be a superstar forever, but when you're at that position, impact lives. I always think the most powerful legacy you can leave is how you make someone feel, how you how you you raise your kids, how you the values that you teach them. Like um I remember I was telling um Susan from Toto Touch yeah. that for me if my daughter when she grows up says my mom is the best mom ever. And nothing else matters by yeah. the way. I don't care what anyone yeah. else thinks. If she thinks that I raised her well mm -hmm. and that she's happy, then that's what matters to me. Mm -hmm. Um so in the same lens now with, with media, you have to tell yourself, these are things that will pass, you know? But what are you doing while you're still up there, while you still have the money? Yeah, yeah. Are you investing in this foundation? Are you talking to these girls? Are you mentoring? Those are the things that will now have a lasting value. So that when they do find you in a matatu, they're not saying, oh my goodness, that's... Mm. They're like, oh my goodness, she helped my daughter do this, this, yeah. this. She helped this person go to school. Yeah. Those are the things I think that really last. So I think what I would advise people in, in media, what I want people to understand is that we're humans at the end of the day, but you can't let your media presence and your popularity make you who you are. Because like said, you guys said, people will forget. That's people true. will move on. Oh, they move on. Yeah. So do th really do the things that really matter and that will last for a long time. Great. So I'm just going to go throw this right in there. Mm -hmm. There's pressure that comes with what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's pressure to look a certain way. Mm. Uh, always. Yeah. Like, we don't care if you're having a bad day. Mm. Me, I'm sorry. Which bad day? Bad day. Bad day. Bad day. Bad don't care if you had a baby. Me, I don't care. You know? I don't care if you had a baby. Me, I just want. The girl mm. who joined six years mm. ago is the same one I want here today. Mm. So there's that pressure to maintain a certain lifestyle, yeah. to maintain a certain body type. Mm. <laughs> and not stuff. to eat donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> you know? Yeah. There's a, to just, like, if sometimes even shaving your mm. hair is, 
it's such a big deal. You mm -hmm. have to think about it, think about it. Even getting in with the dreadlocks or trying something different from what yeah. people are used to. Yeah. There's so much pressure. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys deal with that? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I remember um, when I had my second born and I really added a lot of weight, over 100 and I think 150. I was quite big. I didn't have a neck. At least now I have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh my gosh, my second baby, you're speaking to me. Speak back. Yeah, but <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't look like you even. <laughs> I, was looking, I was not even looking like this. Yeah, and I'm five baby. babies now. So five? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. So, yeah. So, wow. But the thing is, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Five to five <laughs> yeah. 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 But the thing is, I remember we went into this meeting. Yeah. And uh, our boss then talked, talked, talked. But then he said, she turned to me and said, uh, Anne, if you continue like this, we will remove you out of the screen. You understand? And so I was like, what do I do? You see, that's pressure already. Yes. And the more... And this is the, the fans, this is internal. Yeah. Okay. And so I had this pressure to lose weight. But it, no matter what I did, I stopped eating. But I was just adding because there was a lot of pressure. And sadly, I was actually plucked out of the screen for some time, for almost a year. Yeah. So it happens. It happens. But these things, they kind of give you some shock absorbers so that every, anything that is thrown your way, you are able to. Because me, I knew my dream to become a journalist didn't start when I joined the media. It started when I was young. When I was 10 years old, I used to tell God, I want to be like these people I see. Then it was VOK, KBC. Yeah. So I was telling myself, I want to be like this lady so that I can tell the world about stories. So my dream did not end when one particular person decided I was big. So even when they put me aside, I knew that I had to go back. If it's the weight which is making me to be out of the screen, then we will lose it. So the thing is, is to try to look for what you are, what voice, who, what do you want to do? Because the screen may not be there, but you still have to be remain that person, that voice, that whatever that you want to let out. Yeah. And so I found a way to go back on the screen. I went back and I told my boss that, okay, so because the problem is when I'm standing my kitambi natoka, so why don't I do a show that you can just take a close up on myself? Yeah. And I gave him this idea about a, a, our non one we didn't have then on, a, on the Kiswahili show. And he was like, yes. So every Friday, I got this show that I used to do. You understand? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that when life throws at you lemons, you have to squeeze lemonade out of it Absolutely. because things will happen. Yeah. I mean, today you can be told you're not going to be on that show. True. Is it not true? true? Today you can be told that something has happened. Yeah. But then you as a woman, you have to think, how do I move on and Absolutely. still become relevant? Yeah and still be the voice that you want to be in the society. So yes, me, I had that pressure to lose weight. And I think I've always been this big, yeah. you understand? Yeah. And I think this is one thing that the media people have to understand or the media uh, managers, yeah. that we don't have, uh, we don't all of us have to be slim. Yeah. When the job is not there, who yeah. are you? Mm -hmm. So for, and love that you think the voice. So mm -hmm. what is it for you? For mm -hmm. you, is it the dance? Is it the voice? Mm -hmm. Is it the agenda? Is it the design? Is it the, whatever it is, find your purpose. And purpose is not that big statement. Mm. I just wanted to be a voice, a voice, a voice. Mm. What is it you really, really yeah. want? And yeah. find that. Whether you're in media or out of media. And remember, social media, now everyone is a media it's house. Mm. So how do you get your purpose irrespective of the role and irrespective of the season? Mm. When the weight comes, that's yeah. where I am. <laughs> and when the weight goes. <laughs> <laughs> how do you ensure that yeah. you still have your purpose? Yeah. So, we, I'd like... I'd like us to show our human side, okay. right? So those goofs, the one time we call like, my God, did I do that on air? And I will start as okay. you guys prepare or remember. Okay. My very first time, my career started in radio. So I hope you guys are thinking as you're listening to my story. Oh, yeah. So um, I, I went on air for close to an hour without putting the thingy on, the fader. Ah. Yes, so, so I was are. just talking to myself. <laughs> for how long? <laughs> it went on for close to an hour. I had a co-host, so they'd, they'd pick my voice from her mic, mm -hmm. but my fader was down the whole time. No, 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 it wasn't down. I was talking into a dead mic. Oh, oh no. my god. Yeah, my first day on air. So, yeah, cool. Oh, oh, I, cool. I have oh, so god. many men. How long do we have? One. Just I'll the one. Two. I'll say two. Okay, two. One, I actually fell. 
down. Oh God, I Green. did that as well. Oh, I did you fall. Fall. I, know, I tripped, and the, and the MG and the CEO they were right here. And it was a live show, and I was like, oh, so who's gonna hold me? This is the CEO, the CEO. But then again, yeah, yeah. We have a pungulo. Now, I know I'll see the show is DJ Mo. Uh, eh? Never know she. She's like. Allah! <laughs> Thankfully, the camera didn't capture it. I don't know how this guy is on point. Eh? So, people are just here, good, 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 good. That's like, the director. Allah! Ah, yeah. And then I think he dropped too. something like, by the way, for you who's watching, yeah. in life you can fail. <laughs> you can fall down. I'm like, dude. So, guy, I don't, guys didn't know. But yeah, yeah, you can imagine everyone back there was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Mm. And imagine I was pregnant, but they didn't know. It was also mm. the first few months. Mm. Okay, oh, at least you think they don't know, but maybe they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. And then the other, my first pregnancy, the second one was easy. I had crazy nausea. Crazy nausea. Yeah. I don't know the other feeling. The feeling. I think that's why I lost weight. The first one. I used to pee like seven times a day. Oh. The first thing that I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter this how. This the second one I wasn't puking anyway. <laughs> you have just done it yourself. So and yeah, I by don't. Force. <laughs> Down, yes. Peter. <laughs> anyway, I had the feeling, but I, yeah. so the, every show, I'd, I think I take tropical, yeah, and really mm. shikili, yeah. But I think uh, the first time I went on air was a very long time ago. The first time, the very first time I went on air, it was really tough for me. I mean, I was, my heart was beating, my my breathing had changed. Even the direct, I could hear the director just saying, "And relax," but I can't even remember the intro I did. You know. Yes, you're there, you have the auto cue, but you just even don't know what's happening around you, you know, because before I went, I remember my boss told me, just remember that over 5 million people are watching you. Oh, pressure, no pressure. So then I was like, <laughs> it, I was all over the place, but I made it. I've really tried to think hard, Yeah. but I think the one which, which really comes to mind um, I, was my first like out of country yeah. media assignment. And I was supposed to go and, and uh, cover this NBA exhibition game in South Africa. So like these NBA players were going to be there, just walking past you. Oh. And for me as a basketball <laughs> player, these are like the people who yeah. are yeah. the gods, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be legends. calm yeah. and composed yeah. and okay. ask my questions yeah. properly. And I did okay. Oh. Until um, I was told, go and interview that guy. And he was just brought, boom. Oh. This guy, uh, I'm tall. He was tall, of course, basketball player. And he was so good looking. Oh my god. <laughs> and his cologne was amazing. Wow. I was lost. <laughs> I was going, <laughs> gone. Gone. <laughs> going, going, gone. <laughs> what question? Do you know back of the cameraman was like, yeah. Yeah. I, just told off the I just asked the guy, can we please take a picture? And we took a picture and that was it. I walked away. I said, oh. I'm not going to stop pushing things. Oh, oh, so we took a picture and I left. <laughs> I said, let me gather my dignity and just walk away. <laughs> we are human people. And thank you guys oh, yeah, for coming. Yeah. 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 Okay, Faith Muturingo, okay? Faith Muturingo, mm. okay? Faith Muturingo, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Faith Muturingo, okay? Faith Muturingo, okay? Faith Muturi Goge. Yes. Anjambi Ngoge. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, Anjambi Ngoge. Facebook. And Ngu Ngoge. Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Yes. Silale. S-I-L-A-L-E-I. -E There's only one Silale in the world. Oh. Wow. Ooh, hala. Mm. If you find another one, let me know. Yes. So, on all platforms, just look for Silale. You'll find me there. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Yes.